Hey, hope all is well. You already know we getting these messages out today. Let's see what we have here. We have envy. Ooh, a lot of that been going on today. We got envy. So there's envious energy here. We do have magic right on top. Mushrooms. Yeah. Ooh, what did I just say? The energy. There's a lot of envious energy. Somebody could be an inspiration here. Red pepper. But somebody is, you know, spilling out positive energy. Okay, because somebody is of love here. Strawberries. So we have envy energy and we have love. <laughs> we have positive energy here. And then we have love right at the top. So, where's that fan? Here we go. What's this envy about? What's this envy about? The two of wands. Okay, so there's envy about somebody's decisions, somebody's work. And then we have the, it's somebody's hard work paying off. And then we have the eight of pentacles right at the top of the deck. So there's envy about somebody's decisions about work here. What's the energy looking like? What's the energy looking like? Because somebody, this is the higher font. This is higher font energy. So the energy is people could want the higher font to juggle or something. But what's, what's, what's happening is this higher font is taming this energy. Look at this snake. The snake is eating its own tail. So the people that's being envious of whatever this higher font energy is, they're defeating themselves. What's, what's um, Peach's positivity? So the positivity is somebody has gained a greater understanding and they're putting their talents to service here. We have the Knave of Pentacles. So somebody is on that positive energy and things are gaining momentum for them. Three of Wands, they're in their strength and showing love. Strength and love here. Yeah, so what people is trying to do is break this individual and what they're working on here. We have fragmented. They want to cause this to break here. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the what's the energy? What's the energy? 
Yeah, because this person, uh, whatever energy this higher font is, is this uh, higher font is about communication here. This higher font could be communicating things here. What's the positivity here? This is this individual's fate, the will of fortune. So that's what the positivity is here. This person is still in their strength and sending messages of love here. So this is fated. Fated to occur, fated to happen here. envy even through adversity here this person accepts all of them challenges this person accepted all of those challenges okay they knew it was the best way for them to learn so they learned from this here and people being envious and things of that nature and wanting things to break down so even through the envy even through the adversity you still see what's going on here what is um what is the energy here Yeah, this, this is this person's purpose to communicate these things here. It says, I know what I am here to do. This person knows what they're here to do. That's the energy here. What is the positivity? Yeah, this person has the courage here. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay, this individual knows they cannot change the past to as well here. So this individual is not in regret. They're standing in their strength. Still delivering messages here and messages of love. So even through adversity, this person is still in their purpose and having the courage to do so. And this is faded. person work through all of the fears work through that envy we have new moon and scorpio what's the energy here this person still work through adversity yeah they knew it was time to take action and communicate new moon and aries here What's the positivity? A fiery climax is appro approaches. Full moon and Aries again. So a lot of Aries energy, Scorpio energy. And then we have at the bottom, end of a tough cycle approaches. So it's the end of all coming to an end with that envy and adversity uh, and things of that nature. fiery climax approaches we have a lot of Scorpio, aries energy we have capricorn energy um taurus energy earth energy fire energy a lot of earth and fire and then we have water as far as scorpio goes can we get three cards for the energy here yeah, somebody is going to remain great and full or be great and full here. Great and full. Cut running over here. Two as well. This, in, this individual ears is wide open. So they hear beyond. This individual is in perfect harmony. You can see 1133. You can see the number four a lot, representing the sun too as well. Yeah, this person is willing to release those cycles and regret. And this person was willing to release a lot here. Willing release. Um, and still spread messages of love and, and, and strength. Yep. 
So the people who are being envious and villains, you can always rewrite your story too as well. Okay, this individual could have also rewrote their story as well. That's too many. Let's just get two more. Yep, this individual is a lioness, okay, or a lion. You've earned all your stripes. This person earned this. Listen, so you can relax. It's like some fairy tale energy here. Can we get one more, please? That's too many. Minute. Let me just get one more. Thank you. So it says unplug and rest for a spell here. Okay, maybe take yourself on a date. You can be home work, home uh work, but take yourself on a date, unplug, you know, relax for a while. 133 could be significant. 3333 could be significant too as well. And I'm going to pull a couple of angel numbers. I just seen 11:55 on the timer, so that could be significant. 11. Oh, I, I did say 11:33. It says here, I am in, the, I am in mat, I am imaginative. Okay, angel number 30. So you are an original. You're an innovative thinker. Uh, and you have your excellent communicator again them communication skills here uh, you have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect to others so you uplift other individuals here so 11 11 could also be significant because angel number 11 popped out hold on i gotta get it it fell on the float yeah, you are intuitive here. You have a keen sense of awareness of what is happening around you. Um, and then, you, you know, your intuition, that's that inner man, and it's falling right up under the road of Most High too, as well here, the higher font. Uh, but you have a strong intuition uh, is your gift, and, you will and it will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to... Uh, be a great guide and supporter too as well here so let's get one more we have 666 so you are centered um okay you had a wake-up call okay to re-examine uh your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts too as well so that you can raise the vibration to a more positive frequency too as well so we have 666 so you had a wake-up call um to change okay we have positivity here we have 10 10 10 which talk well i mean i said 10 10 10 <laughs> which you could that could be significant but we got 10 10 so you can see that too as well uh it says continue to keep your uh thoughts positive too okay and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you okay so you have angelic guidance and i'm gonna pull um from this angel's deck and then we're gonna you know and then with a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for can we get three angel messages here we have lord ganesha so the removal of obstacles here so the removal of op uh, obst obstacles and the envy and all of that a clear path is you know being paved ahead for you We have Archangel Jophiel. We have joy, radiance, and the inspiration. So you are inspiration. We have the number nine falling in the road of Most High too, the higher font, which he has uh, the nine attributes too as well. And then we have Archangel Uriel. So things are being illuminated, your inner power. Um, yeah, your ideas are coming into form at this time, okay? bottom of the deck we have segment that's that fearness fierceness destruction and rebuilding okay and i think
So what did I say? Yeah, after that I was gonna pull a grateful heart message. It's always something to be grateful for. <laughs> so today I'm telling you envy is in the air, but try to remain positive because sheesh. That's been coming out in all the energy. It says the faithful love of Yahweh never ends and his mercies never cease. It says here the joy of Yahweh is your strength. It says those that look to him for help will be radiant with joy. So, you know, continue to look, you know, to the most high for help. You will still be in joy through, through it all. So I hope you all got a message from this reader to help you along your journey. Know that. Yahweh loves you. I love you. And I'll see you all later. Peace.